Hey friends and welcome. It's is Dr. Heather coming to you live from Ask Dr. Heather and I just thought I'd do like a live check-in because it seems like I know a lot of people are at home. I hear a lot of people are been, um, you know, because they're not going to work. They're not doing as much activity that they've been around, maybe on social media a little bit more, but I've had less people checking in on our eating clean day. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to pop on here. I've been prepping for the week, went to the grocery store today, have my whole meal and menu lined out. I thought, you know, I'm going to pop on here and just see how everybody's doing. It is day 33 of 40. Remember, we started a 40 day eating clean challenge. I said, who wants to do this? And I had a few thousand people like, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Of course, this was before the whole COVID thing launched and this, believe it or not, it's not even been 40 days since we had all the announcement and my, how things have changed in the last 40 days. But knowing that, and maybe you didn't hear my announcement and I have not done, I'm gonna tell you, I've been guilty. I have not done the best job on social media. I know I have too many accounts trying to stay accountable here. Hey, Justin, thanks for joining me here always. I don't think you ever sleep. When do you sleep? I know you're clear across the pond over there in Australia. Anyway, today is day 33 of 40 of our Eating Clean Challenge. And if you don't know anything about it, I'm gonna give you about a two minute scenario and then we're gonna start watching Frozen as a family. Yes, my boys are 17 at 22 um, and we're gonna watch Frozen and my mom is here as well. So anyway, our eating clean challenge was simply cutting out processed sugar, cutting out soda, cutting out anything that comes in a box that has processed sugar in it. So eating as clean as whole as you can. I know it's been a little bit more difficult because you haven't been able to go get fresh produce every day. That's okay. Remember, it's not about perfect. It's simply about doing the best job that you can. So if you didn't hear about it or maybe you're not getting all the posts, that's okay. Jump in today jump in today you have one week left so what happens is we were just leading up to Easter so we have seven days left of our eating clean challenge like yesterday I had tuna salad tonight we actually had zucchini noodles and spaghetti and a side salad um, super super simple tomorrow we're gonna have some sauteed greens and um, I think eggs for breakfast because I got the whole menu planned out. We're gonna have chicken for dinner. I like this mustard chicken that I do, this bacon wrap that's super simple and easy to do. But just post your menu down below. I know accountability or 90% of life is showing up. So accountability is just posting a picture of what you eat. So if you're not posting a picture or checking in, I don't know how you all are doing. I did say I wanted to give some prizes to people who are checking in, who are showing up, who are you know playing along because I think everyone should be rewarded for how you're doing. So there are seven days left in our 40 day clean eating challenge I have been taking actually Facebook does that it actually tells me who comments who likes who shows up if you're on replay you still get actually the same amount of points as if you watched it live so I know people are in different time zone before the COVID breakout and before the quarantine people I know had jobs had different jobs or times that they worked that's okay I say pop on here and check it in with everybody so tonight I'm checking in with everybody see how you all are doing so I'm just gonna be super quick with that so if you you know somebody who needs to be getting eating clean needs to maybe they fall off track because they think you know what they're treating spring break and then they never went back to school and they're still treating it like spring break and eating goldfish and eating gordettos and having things they shouldn't because they feel like well why not I haven't gone back to school yet or gone back to work yet get back on the healthy wagon I'm gonna read you some stats tomorrow about some of the people who are slowest to recover from viruses and bacteria are people who have higher blood sugar trends maybe you're not diabetic but someone who has higher blood sugar trends because sugar feeds viruses and bacteria that's another reason to eat clean we know that our body is its own pharmacy it gets also amazing nutrients from green leafy vegetables I understand that it's hard to get organic stuff I went to the store today and I knew it was hard there was no organic eggs left but you know we've actually been able to find if you're in Kansas City hop over to low carb keto KC some of the local farmers have actually made some drive-through shopping available for you so I want to give a big shout out for them so we have seven days left in our eating clean challenge so don't forget to do that again hop over to low carb keto KC you're gonna see that they've been doing monthly drive-through for local farms whether I think there's a, um, a local farmer here in Kansas City who has 2100 eggs that was supplying farm was supplying restaurants and now she's not supplying restaurants so she's selling her organic locally farm grown eggs for like four dollars a dozen same with meat same with chicken there was a lot of amazing thing even some honey around here so check and see what's local with your people who are supplying to restaurants and you can get some amazing locally um, great food grown to you so seven days left on our eating food challenge hey Megan thanks for checking jumping on Tammy thanks for jumping on Sharon Richard great to see you guys Christopher thanks for joining on so tomorrow we're gonna to be talking about hold on tomorrow 
we're going to talk about stress. I know it's backwards. So we're going to talk about stress, how it affects your body. But today's about eating clean. So I want everyone to participate seven days until Easter. So seven days left in our eating clean challenge. And then we're going to go right into a 60 hour reboot fast. I finished an 81 hour fast a week, uh, a little less than a week ago because my body was in some flares. I need to calm things down. And that's the best way that I can facilitate my own health care. So I want to share that with you. Um, Ellen says, I'm getting things from farmer's market, which are classified as grocery stores here that is amazing Ellen what town are you in so again I don't want to keep you long and be here very long but I do want you to know that there are ways that you can actually get amazing locally grown food that because there are farmers that need to need to actually get their produce out of their farm so Bruce may know some as well so Bruce I know just jumped on but Bruce if there's some people in Miami County Paola County that you know have got some produce that usually supply to restaurants or things like that that actually have produce to sell to people let us know so Dory's up in Canada so again jump over to low carb keto KC look at what they've gathered there today they've got a bunch of our local farmers um, are together who are actually doing some amazing merchant bags together which are amazing so seven days left on our clean eating challenge can't wait to see what you guys are having today what you're having tomorrow so please check in every day I'm gonna check in with you every day I'm not gonna have my my super cute hair colors like Dory does so please follow Dory she's got colorful Dory on her keto page. She always has fun hair colors and flashy lights. But thank you guys for joining in with me, checking in seven days left of our clean eating challenge. Remember, there will be some amazing prizes I want to share with you. So please check in either by a comment or by sharing or by putting a picture of what you're eating or what you're drinking or maybe your alarm, you woke up before your alarm clock went off because you're feeling so amazing and that's one of the best things I notice that the cleaner that I eat, the more that my eating window is shortened down or the more that I do some intermittent fasting or a 24 hour fast or some shorter fast, the better that I sleep and the better my moods are because we know what happens when your body's producing ketones, we actually make more GABA, more dopamine, and our feel-good neurotransmitters are much, much higher. So that's what we all need right now. We need to lower the stress, which we can do naturally in our own body. Our body can make its own neurotransmitters. We can actually calm everything down simply by letting our body burn fat for fuel. That's an amazing thing our body actually knows how to do. We're gonna talk more about that tomorrow. Today is just a brief little check-in. Make sure that you're doing the best that you can keep the sugar out sugar feeds inflammation sugar feeds bad moods sugar causes lots of blues lots of stress inside your body at the mitochondria level we don't need any of that we actually need to turn the positivity up right everyone needs to hear that hey Carrie Jackie thanks for joining and we will see you guys tomorrow well we're gonna talk about adrenal adrenal stress we're gonna talk about how you can actually have your adrenals checked because people ask me that all the time and then we're gonna talk really again about your own body's stress response and what that can do and how you can do some simple, easy things like we're going to do some coloring books, play some puzzles. We're going to watch Frozen 2 tonight and you're never too old to watch Disney movies because that turns on those happy endorphins. Exercise, exercise, exercise is so wonderful to turn on those happy endorphins as well and getting good sleep and turning off the blue light. I'll share one tip that I heard today from one of the neural, um, one of the, one of the, I'm sorry, I'll slow down here. One of the neurologist that I follow quite a bit, he said that um, teenagers are young people who are actually the millennial age people, I people, who actually watch screens two hours plus in a row have a higher rate of suicide, 75% higher rate of suicide. Having screen hours, two hours in a row, 75%. I will actually find that and put it down below because it was astounding when I heard it was that high. I didn't want to even go there tonight, but I want to say, hey, everybody eat clean seven days. It can help your mood. It can help your sleep. It can help you feel better overall. And you all know that when you eat clean, you just feel better. You're prouder of yourself, but there's no shame or blaming. If you fall off the wagon, you take a detour, you have a bite of this, just know you'll do better the next day. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow.